President Biden gearing up for a Supreme Court showdown after liberal justice Stephen Breyer announced his retirement earlier today. I will select a nominee worthy of Justice Breyer's legacy of excellence and decency. The person I will nominate will be someone with extraordinary qualifications, character, experience, and integrity. And that person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. The president vowing to choose a nominee by the end of February. And now the fun begins. Biden will be under enormous pressure from the far left and the squad over who he'll nominate, making it very likely he'll select the most radical person for the job. And whoever he picks, the ladies of The View, they'd like to be consulted. Yes. This is happening on a, in a time where we can get another liberal. And of course, the representation more than anything, you pointed out, first black woman, there's only been two black men. In it, it, that, those numbers are a little shocking. And one so we, doesn't really represent the black community. I always feel like that particular branch of government is so anti-democracy that somebody like Amy Coney Barrett uh, was put in there because she's a white woman yeah. who they say, well, she'll go against abortion rights, and she's a woman. So that was deliberate, I think. Dana Perino. I mean, where do I begin? What does this mean, <laughs> the woman thing? <laughs> <laughs> Amy yeah. Barrett is a woman. There's like, you don't need to quote that. Like that you, can, you can take that one to the bank. Uh, and also, uh, the, the attacks against Clarence Thomas, they are just so, yeah, it, it's, so it's tired, it's lazy. Stop it with that, because that's annoying. They hate a strong black man. They, really, the they must. Yeah. I guess that's you the thing. You hate strong black men. And Tim Scott. Yeah. I think that they, what you'll that's see fine. is that this will be helpful to, the, to Biden for a bit, mm -hmm. right? So it'll allow them to focus the mind on something. The media will chase this for a while. But this, this Supreme Court nomination is likely to get done because they have the votes for it. Uh, but one thing it, doesn't, it won't do is it won't help solve their problems on inflation, crime, uh, the border issues, Afghanistan continues, the ISIS is coming back. Like, all of these things will continue, and they will be there on the other side of this uh, the debate. Yeah, because it doesn't really swing the court. I mean, there's not a huge national interest in, in how this is going to shake down. Yeah, it? they're just going to break even. Yeah. That's yeah. all they're hoping yeah. for. But yeah. I, just because they brought up uh, Clarence Thomas, it's like when you're a conservative black Republican, you really got to kick butt. Yep. Right. You got there's no affirmative yeah. action for you. But here, you know, it's got to be awesome to know, you know, you're being picked because of your gender and race. And everybody knows that. Yep. That's I mean, we talked about in the eight block that there was a lack of transparency. There's no lack of transparency here. They're telling you we are picking a female black woman, color and gender before qualifications. She may not even have to be a judge. She may not have to be a lawyer. But at least I mean, that is entirely wrong. It's quotas. But at least it's transparent. Uh, you know, it's, it's like, but it, uh, the hypocrisy is they would never use this kind of qualification if their child was going into surgery. You know, just as yeah. it's going under well, the knife, you go, hold point. on a second. I need to see the gender identity, the, the race identity of the operating room staff. It has to be exactly diverse before you operate on my child. No. See, this doesn't matter to them, so they can act like this is a principled stance when it's not. Well, Geraldo, you brought this up the other day. Do you think that by saying I'm only going to nominate a black female, is he s discriminating against yes. white males? Is yes. that what's going on here? Yes, and white females. How dare he? I, there's no doubt it, the Constitution <laughs> is being tested. Yes. However, it is a social goal that I find appropriate. It is true that there's never been a black woman on the high court. I think it is past time. And the people that uh, are being talked about, if, if they pick from these top three people, these are fine justices that have just been through this grinding process because they're on the federal appeals court. So they've already gone through it. They've already been tested. They'll be fine. He'll be fine. And I think that I, I go back to what I said yesterday. This is an opportunity for Republicans to restore themselves as the gracious party, as the party of manners. We as are the, the as gracious the, well, As the party you know, that puts time country time? ahead of <laughs> politics. And what good uh, did you it know, do us? <laughs> it, it, whether that is true or not, and, and you may be right on that, Judge, still I think it is an opportunity because, as Greg said, it's 6-3 no matter what. Right. If they pick any of these liberals, they're going to be 6-3. It is 6-3. It's a wash. So why be ill-mannered? Why be gr aggressive? Why do to this candidate what they did to Kavanaugh? And, uh, uh, I'll tell so. you why. First of all, I agree with everyone at the table. There will be no ideological change in the court. It will be 6-3. Now, 
what they're looking for. And Crazy Maisie Hirono says <laughs> that she wants a replacement to consider the impact and the effects, not just the law. I mean, you now got these social justice warriors coming in, and they're going to try to educate the public in these public open hearings that we want social justice, we want environmental justice, forget about the law, just like all women need to be believed. I don't want them selling that crap. The Supreme Court is about law and precedent. The Supreme Court is and should be pristine. I have no problem with ideological differences. I have a problem when people say, I'm going to decide based upon how this is going to affect my town or, you know, how people are going to see it who are my color or the other color. No, the Supreme Court votes on affirmative action. It shouldn't be made up of affirmative action. I have no problem with a female who's African American. No problem at I'm all. I'm on TV but, because of me, affirmative action. But, but that's not the point. That She's got to be. Yeah. You're She's on TV because be of your mustache. Comp <laughs> She's got to be competent. That's all we want is competence. And that's all I have to say. Well, that's uh, fine. Well, he, well, well said. The judge well makes said. a point, and we've seen these because we've covered these. She says, crazy Maisie. And you know what? Did you coin that? Because that's a yeah. doozy. <laughs> I did. Um, but we, it's going to be theatrics. They're going to perform. You're, they're going to read these things. The staff wrote them. Uh, you know you want to do bomb. Booker? Uh, he's What's he'll Booker going to sound uh, like? He's going to be... I want to welcome you <laughs> to this uh, a tremendous uh, ceremony, and uh, you look fantastic. And there I will be down. tears. There will be tears. There's going to be tears. Someone There's going to be cry. long profiles. There's going to be long, like, hour-long primetime specials on the background. <laughs> and you know what? That'll be great. And then we can move on, and they yep. can hear cases, and one of those cases is going to be affirmative action. But yep. you know but what? They, do you agree with me that the Republicans should go easy? No. I think that but they should no. just, on the merits... Take it on the merits. We had I'm, to... I'm, I'm gracious in general. You are. Yeah, she's you are. so lovely. They were you have like a you. filthy mouth, actually. <laughs> it's sure. disgusting. Yeah, really. <laughs> you <laughs> can only what hear, we hear in the commercial <laughs> What we hear is... Up a... next, the consequences of being soft on crime, why America is seeing a brutal war on cops.